prove so that means we are have algebra that the difference difference refers to what subtraction yeah subtraction i'll write down here subtract rather than a line because you might get confused subtract between the squares of two consecutive odd numbers so squares means you need to square them square what to the the squares of two consecutive odd numbers so we've got consecutive odd numbers notice what i'm doing i'm trying to group things together so what are they referring to they're referring to consecutive odd numbers they're referring to the word difference and they're referring to the squares of the consecutive odd numbers and they're also referring to something which says we need to show that it's a multiple of eight. Okay. Now, what number am I starting off with? Uh -uh. That's where I need to get to. Prove that the difference between the square of two consecutive odd numbers is a multiple of eight. So I need to prove that something is a multiple of eight. That's the answer I need to get to. That's not my start point. This is my end point. What I need to get to. What I need to get to. How would I show something is a multiple of eight? Eight lots of something. It doesn't have to be eight n. Eight bracket something. What I need to get to. I.e. eight lots of a bracket. Yeah, if you can take eight out as a factor, it's a multiple of eight. That's my end point, but that's not my starting point. What would be my starting point? Look at all those key things that I've written down here. Where am I going to start off with? You can't just say X. We're not talking about any number. Why do you say two and plus one there? OK, consecutive odd numbers is going to be my starting point. So let's write down consecutive. How many consecutive odd numbers? Two of them. So what should I write? What's an odd number? And then the next one? That's my consecutive odd numbers. Can I tick that off? Consecutive odd numbers. What am I doing with the consecutive odd numbers? Minus or square first? What does it say? Square of the two consecutive numbers. The difference between the square of the two consecutive numbers. Square first. Square each of them. How am I going to do that? Put a bracket on them and then square them. There you go. Now I've squared them. What are they telling me to do with these two squared odd numbers? Subtract. When you subtract, which one take away? Which one do we normally do? Bigger take away the smaller. Which one's my bigger one? Okay. So really what I want to do is this. 2n plus 3 all squared minus 2n plus 1 all squared. So we're taking the information and we are writing it using algebra. And then we'll do the algebra, which we should be confident with because we've done algebra for the last, what, how many years, right? Okay. So I've done the difference, square, consecutive of numbers. Okay. I'm going to have to show this is a multiple of eight, but before I can do that, I need to start doing some working out. Very good. What am I going to do first? Expand them. When you see a bracket squared, this is a common mistake. What have I done? I've just squared 2n and 3. But it's not. That's a common mistake. Really, what you've got is this. Minus two lots of that. Do you understand? So we're going to do our expansion of this. This will give us 4n squared. Plus 6n plus 6n gives us plus 12n. So you can do that middle term, those two middle terms, n terms together and then plus nine and then minus is it minusing one thing or the whole thing so that whole thing needs to be inside a bracket very important i know you're expanding and you're thinking oh i've expanded the bracket so there's no it's but it's not minusing one thing and i'll explain why by not putting the bracket in first i'm going to explain this is the common mistake your expansion will be correct 4n squared plus 2n plus 2n makes 4n and then one times one is plus one. Notice if I just put a minus here, where is that minus been applied to? Only the foreign squared. But it's not. That minus is on that whole thing. Can you see that minus was on the whole thing? So I need to put a bracket here. 
as a result, what will happen? It will become minus 4n squared minus 4n and then minus times positive 1, minus 1. If I don't have the bracket, can you see where the minus is on? It's only on the 4n squared, none of the others. And that is another place where students make mistakes. Do not forget the brackets. And then the minus times each of them, then you can get rid of the brackets. Yes, Sinadi. Because imagine this as minus one. So minus one is times in each of them. OK, that's what's happening. If there's minus written, it's the same as minus one. OK, but we don't usually write down the one in front. So that's what's happened because the minus is you're minusing all of the things inside. You're applying a subtraction to all of them. Or times in it all by a negative. 4n squared plus 12n plus 9. Minus 4n squared, minus 4n, minus 1. Tidy this up. 4n squared, minus 4n squared, nothing. 12n minus 4n, 8n. 9 minus 1, 8. Positive 8. We haven't proved it's a multiple of 8 yet. What do I need to do? Take 8 out as a factor. n plus 1. Now we can say 8 is a factor. Is a factor. Therefore, this is a multiple of 8. You need to make that conclusion statement. 8 is a factor, therefore, multiple of 8. So, we can summarize this in maybe kind of a, a few steps. The first step is forming the using algebra. Step one, form expression using using the words and th that they've given you using algebra alone okay step two what did we do expand and simplify the algebra and simplify algebra step three always requires you to do some sort of if you're trying to show something you must factorize if you want to show it's a multiple of something are trying to show multiple of something i think it's a good way of knowing what the, how to structure a proof question oh yeah you don't you don't need to write the steps the steps is more for your understanding OK, so you know how to lay out a question. And step four, you need to write down a, a statement, a conclusion statement. You can't just leave it like that. You need to say a conclusion statement. This is a eight is a factor. Therefore, it's a multiple of eight. Write a statement. OK, write a statement. <laughs> 